Good evening. Leading the news tonight, a bright future for Fiordland fisheries, thanks to a new code of practice. Beneath the reflections is a series of practical fishing tips designed to protect the delicate marine environment. It's aimed at everyone that visits the fjord's waterways. Commercial and recreational fishers worked along with Naitahu and the Ministry of Fisheries on the code. And more than 200 guests turned out on Saturday to celebrate the launch. Sean Summerfield reports. Guarding a natural wonder. The new codes of practice for Fiordland are full of fishing tips that protect the fragile sea life. The Ministry of Fisheries say it's a huge step in the right direction. I guess this group is pretty special. Um, there, there's certainly a great rapport amongst these people and I think it's the, the reason is because they really are committed to looking after their own fisheries. It's hoped that the codes will be received better than laws. Well the minute you put anything into law you put people's backs up. A code of practice is a code of conduct which has been introduced by the user groups of the area which I see as being positive. The Guardians represent every group that uses the fields and they say working together is easy. Now we've never had any troubles down here, not like the centre in other parts of the country, you know, but working with, with the recreational fishermen, I mean most of us all raft up together over there anyway and have a few beers and that so no, there's no problem with the recreational guys and the Maori guys, most of them are fishermen anyway. Over 200 came to the launch and many feel the codes are a positive step. It makes people take a look at the, at the big picture and, and see things from everybody's angle. It's preserving what we've got in Fiordland forever and I believe it's, it's just wonderful to do that. And we've got a, a mix of recreational and commercial working together for sustainability and that's got to be pretty important really. It's a bit of a first in some ways. An example of Fiordland's wares were very well received. The Guardians involved in setting up the codes of practice see it as a wonderful example for others interested in preserving New Zealand's unique wildlife. In Fiordland, this is Sean Summerfield for Mercury News.